right. How about we learn a little cluck all hen? Uh, this is a Brain Joe Level 1 tab and part of the uh, recently released Easy But Awesome book of tabs. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can. Uh, there's a link in the video description where you can go grab that 10 Easy But Awesome book of tabs. Um, so those are uh, tabs for 10 tunes uh, where the arrangements are not too complicated uh, and they sound great. So uh, uh, really the secret of playing good banjo is taking a great tune and simply playing it, uh, playing the melody with good rhythm and timing. And that's almost uh, 90 for, uh, that's almost all it takes to uh, play a really great song. Um, so Cluck All Hen is uh, a fantastic old time tune, uh, a chicken tune. Um, so you can't have too many of those. Uh, this is played, I'm in G modal tuning and I'll go over that in just a second. Um, but I'm gonna play through it real quick quick so you know how it sounds and then we will go through the tab uh, for cluck all hen Each tune, if you uh, if you're familiar at all with like the classic fiddle tune structure, each each part is kind of a half length. So not only is it a pretty simple simple tune melodically, but each part is only half uh, in length, and it's got that classic old time sound because it uses that modal scale. All right, so let's dig into it. Um, so uh, oh, let me first start. Let's get into our tuning. So. We're going to be in uh, what we would often refer to as G modal tuning. So uh, unlike, it's uh, just one half step away from standard G. So we have a D on the fourth string. We have a G on the third. We have a C on the second. So that's the only difference from standard G. We have a C on the second string, whereas we would have a B in standard G. And that's what gives it that modal sound, that mountain sound. And then D on the first string. And then, of course, a G on the fifth string. Now, uh, if you're playing this in a jam, usually uh, the fiddler will want to play it in A. So you can just capo up to second fret or tune up to second, or tune it up either one. You just have to tune your banjo two half steps above where it's at in G to bring it up to A. Same thing with your fifth string, bring it up two half steps either with a fifth string capo or tuning it up, or a railroad spike, as I have. But here, we are playing a G middle tuning, which puts it in the key of G. All right, so that is that. Um, now I will bring up the tab view once again. Uh, if you don't have this, this is available in the vault uh, in the Breakthrough Banjo course. And of course, this video will be archived in the course. Uh, and here is the tab. All right, so we'll walk through this now. Let me make my, all right. So um, for these videos, if you haven't seen before, I will use this blue box to let you know what measure I am working on at any given time. So we're gonna start with this first measure where it begins. how it sounds. We're going to hammer on from the open first to the fifth fret of the first string, then play a brush thumb, then move to the third fret of the first string, play that followed by a brush thumb. So I'm using ring and then index to fret. Okay, that's the first measure. Next measure, same way it starts out. And then the next note is that open second, which is the C and then a brush thumb. So that measure. Okay, 
Third measure is exactly the same as the first. Last measure in the, on top here, we start with the open first and then we're gonna hammer on to the third fret of the third string. So you gotta give that a little bit of oomph to make it sound and then play a brush thumb and then release, play the open third followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. And guess what? We get to do that again. So everything that we just played, we play again. That's the first measure. Second measure there, third one. And last measure. All right, so again, the sound, everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. All right, you can see how this is a great tune for building a nice groove, keeping that nice steady bum ditty rhythm going and then a good tune for practicing those hammer-ons. All right, so that that's, takes us through the A part. All right, so now we're moving into what we would call the B part, which again is the same thing repeated twice, uh, just like the A part. So really, we only have four measures, or eight measures in all to learn. So we've learned four of them. Now here's the next four. So now we're gonna start here. The B part begins on this open third string. Then we play that again, followed by the fifth. And then we're gonna play third fret of the, of the third string, followed by a brush thumb. And again, this is part of that scale. We don't get this note uh, in our typical G major scale, but we do in this tune. All right, that's the first measure. Cluck all hand. Next measure starts out the same. Only now we've played the fourth fret at the, I mean the fourth string at the third fret, and then a brush thumb. Again, um, you'll see a brush is noted there with three strings, the first, second, and third there. It really doesn't matter. You can you can brush on as many strings as you'd like. Just to indicate a brush, you have to indicate a certain number of strings. So I used typically just use three to indicate that. But you can use your ears to decide how many you want to brush. So once again, this measure. All right, next measure starts out the same as that first one. And we have that third fret of the third string again. Now we go to open second, followed by fifth. So that whole measure. And now we close with that same hammer-on, that alternate string hammer-on, where we start with the open first and then hammer-on to the third fret of the third string. And then a brush thumb, and then open third, brush thumb. So that whole measure. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. That's that. Now, guess what? Uh, let me get to where you can see this. Like I said before, we are just going to repeat that thing again. Part of what makes this a nice, easy turn tune to learn. Is there's not a lot to remember. All right, so again, we've already played these measures. We're just repeating them again. Cluck all hand. Same as before. Ain't laid an egg since. Last measure. Way last spring. So here, if we're ending the song, if we're not going to go back to the A part, we just end with that last open uh, third string. If we were going to go back to the A part, we just play another brush thumb and go back to our A part. Um, 
All right, so everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. All right. There we have it. Uh, cluck all hand, let me pause and make sure we have no questions here. All right, you are most welcome, Jason. All right, so that is uh, Cluck All Hen. Again, this is part of the, uh, hold on a second, let me switch back to where my head is back. All right, this is part of the um, 10 Easy But Awesome uh, series of tabs. As you can see, this tune doesn't require a whole lot of fancy stuff. You have, those are the only fretted notes. And you only have really eight measures uh, of music to know uh, to have this whole tune. Great banjo tune though, right? Classic, you gotta have this one. Um, all right, and uh, you may have noticed this one, this uh, tab workshop was not on the schedule. Um, so there I do, I will do these uh, surprise workshops from time to time. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you wanna be notified when those, when these are happening, um, then uh, subscribe. And also this video will be available inside of the Breakthrough Banjo course, the archive uh, for all of the ta uh, tab walkthroughs. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.